Assalamu alaikum beautiful people hope you guys are doing well having a great time um, today I'm here with another exciting opportunity and it's for you it's for all you guys and uh, it's also uh, uh, I'd say like uh, it's an Asian development bank scholarship and it's in New Zealand uh, recently it was uh, uh, in uh, from Japan but this time it's from New Zealand and it's from the University of Auckland so before starting this video um, it's a kind request that uh, try to share this video like this video comment subscribe or do whatever you can to support us so that uh, we can continue our hard work and support you guys and I'll let you guys know about more and more exciting opportunities from all around the world so at this time it's New Zealand New Zealand is a top uh, like if you ask me it's my top favorite country and the university is Auckland Auckland is a great university and Asian Bank Development Bank is uh, kind of collaborating with uh, the University of Auckland so they both are offering this uh, scholarship Master of Public Health Master of Science Arts International Business programs in engineering and these are kind of things which are offered so this is basically only for masters not for bachelors and not for uh, PhD right now but they will offer them as well soon but right now it's for masters tuition fees at the university of auckland this is the coverage uh, basic cost of living health and medical insurance uh, airfare ticket for scholars engaged in research and special grant may be avail available for thesis preparation eligibility criteria you must be a national from adb member countries they are uh, talking about uh, asian development bank member countries or commonwealth countries so or they're talking about the developing countries they're not talking about the developed countries so if you're if you belong from a developing country then you can easily apply on this must gain admission uh, in the approved master program given at the university have a bachelor's degree have at least two years of full-time uh, this these are kind of things you guys can check it out but they have kind of two uh, points where uh, things get complicated and you will get confused I will let you know how you can handle those things so these are the list of required documents uh, I want you to remember each of them because you will need them to fulfill the uh, uh, criteria for applying to it and the last date is 19th of July and how you're supposed to apply you're supposed to apply on this link right here uh, and you'll find it in the description as well okay so this I have explained already these these things so these are the two things which I will be explaining to you guys right now information sheet it's basically really easy you don't need to worry about that you can easily find it this is just information see if, uh, or your personal information they're looking for and uh, your proficiency about English your employment history according to your studies according to your proposed studies so um, always try to make connection in between these things and uh, if we talk about ADB JSP application form so this is uh, kind of important which will take your time but uh, it's really easy it will start from your personal information uh, your gender you do you have have you ever applied your home address and things like that you can easily complete them I would recommend you to use Adobe Acrobat uh, some people will think to complete this with a pen or pencil so this is not you're supposed to do it uh, do you have any medical conditions your study history and uh, the current uh, study so just select uh, whatever suits you the best and go down and at accordingly answer the questions and uh, just go down there is no such complications but I am going with round obviously I have attached the original copy of IELTS IELTS is mandatory kind of thing uh, but you will find out it's mandatory or not when we will go and search for the uh, perfect degrees which we are looking for so yeah that's it and if you go down this is your first choice second choice how you can make choices how you can find programs these are all related things which I will let you know 
and so these are the some sort of questions which you are supposed to answer these are the questions uh, if you can read it describe it, uh, specifically how your uh, proposed studies or research will enable you to contribute to the social and economic development of your home country so these are the, the uh, they will ask you such questions uh, uh, and uh, about their country about yourself about your country about your future about your studies about your employment histories and things like that they will try to make you confused they will try to relate you so you have to answer them real soon and uh, very good if the course uh, offered uh, to you is different to one you have applied would you still consider a scholarship so yes no depends on you so these are this is also a good question so for example someone will select yes someone will select no and if you for example select no they will not give you give you an offer and and if you do they, if they do give you an offer according to this point they will maybe they will not conduct the information about your offer more importantly so employment information related to your uh, employed program your uh, completed degree and uh, these are kind of things so you need to consider and uh, this is kind of it um, in the end your name salary uh, position signature and things like that so <coughs> you will easily complete this form and uh, but uh, which uh, where is the basic uh, confusion or the problems comes in uh, basically the thing is guys that uh, when you complete this form these are the list of the documents i have explained this i have explained this copy of your letter to the university of auckland uh, so what is offer letter offer letter is basically is uh, as you can the name state it's an offer from the university to a specific program so how you are supposed to get that don't worry about it i'll explain that academic documentation certification of employment and these are all kind of things so you have to complete this list of documents when you have completed the list of documents uh, no later than 19 july 2020 you have to send them by post to this following address so that they can confirm you as a uh, asian development bank scholarship a scholar or whatever so how you are supposed to get the uh, basically we have in this all things we don't have this offer letter so how we are supposed to get the offer letter it's really easy and simple you just need to follow it right here so you just need to do you don't need to do anything you just have to like kind of go to the entry requirements obviously it's a postgraduate uh, program so you have to check it each yeah, and everything one by one so undergraduate uh, so we are looking for postgraduate entry requirements you have to check the entry requirement find a specific course which course they are uh, giving you so when you have find out the course uh, you so these are the things 180 um, 240 point and 120 points so this is it kind of thing okay so like for example you want to do the engineering postgraduate programs so find out a course and when you have found out a course you have to apply to it to that to that course according to the university so when you have completed the application and if you have meet the eligibility criteria of the chosen course you will get an offer letter so with the help of that offer letter you can then apply to the um, Asian Development Bank scholarship program which I have explained before this so this is kind of it and this is how the things will go on and as you can see these are the things so yeah uh, these are the requirements of uh, each and every program so they will also let you know about the island stuff or GRE or whatever if they want anything so you just need to click on apply now so how you are supposed to apply on the U University of Auckland website this uh, it's it's easy it's not that hard but if you guys want me to make a video on this as well do comment and let me know that if you if you haven't done it so I'll, I'll help you to do that as well but as you can see it's everything right here is in the guide how to continue your application how to apply and how to start and things like that so they will guide you step by step so this is kind it so basically three steps uh, first steps to get the offer letter from the University of Auckland find a program choose a program if, uh, fulfill the requirements get an offer letter then apply to the Asian development banks and complete the two other forms and com combine them and everything and then post them to the University of Auckland uh, offer let uh, universities either so this is kind of it thank you so much for watching kindly like subscribe share thank you bye bye